Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and online television. I am famously known for That Celebrity Interview, where I conduct interviews all over the globe by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining me on this luscious Friday on the Valder Beebe Show. You're Great. welcome. Well, thank you. I want my audience to know that there are currently 40 million family caregivers nationwide and one in five are African Americans who are unpaid family caregivers. And Dr. Janet Taylor and Edna Kane Williams are here on the Valder Beebe Show to give us the insights from AARP and the Ad Council's Real Talk About Care campaign. Ladies, once again, thank you so very much. Thank you. Thanks. If I could start with you, Edna, tell me, since you're connected with uh, AARP, tell us about those statistics I mentioned. Well, it's very sobering. There, there, as you mentioned, 40 million family caregivers. And to explain, family caregivers are those who aren't necessarily trained to provide health care or supportive care, but because of circumstances are taking care of loved ones. Uh, uh, in, in our case, for our campaign, primarily older adults, a spouse, siblings, uh, and very often your parents. So that, that's a lot. That's a mouthful right there. Dr. Taylor, let me ask you, what do you add to this conversation about caregivers, specifically from the African-American uh, perspective? Well, there are a few things. Number one is that often as caregivers and being African-American, where we shoulder and share our own burden of chronic disease, in addition to taking care of our loved ones and, and helping them manage their illnesses, we have to pay attention to our own incidents of high blood pressure or diabetes or cardiovascular disease. And what this campaign is all about in conjunction with the Ad Council is to remind caregivers that there's support for you, support for your strength, and also that there are resources out there such as the Caregiver Network, where you can go and find healthy tips uh, to stay healthier, to have uh, practical tools, and also free resources. I also want to share that, that a particular issue for the African American community is the cost of caregiving. It is incredibly expensive to care for a loved one. Uh, uh, in your home. Uh, there are medication expenses. Often in the African-American community, we're providing the care ourselves because we sometimes we cannot afford paid caregiving, which can cost upwards of $20 to $25 an hour to have an aid in your home to help. Uh, there are additional food costs, uh, housing costs. So the financial strain of caregiving for the African-American community is also really significant, and I'm sure you're hearing that from your listeners. I am. Uh, they weighed in on this. We talked about this a little bit last week because we knew you were coming, and they're facing a matrix of problems from trying to work to care for their caregivers to a lot of people don't even feel qualified other than giving love to their caregivers. Someone asked me about how do you do that medication thing? You know, exactly. I, I have no idea about that. Exactly. Uh, we were talking that the, the, the face of caregiving or the role of, fair, of caregiving has changed so much. In my own instance, it wasn't just giving medication. It was, you know, figuring out wound care, uh, doing uh, uh, emergency uh uh, dealing with emergency situations. I tell the story that I received a box of catheters um, suddenly one, one day, and I called the doctor, and they said, I said, is this for me to wait until you make your next visit? He said, no, that's for you to use when your mother needs it next. And I didn't feel at all 
qualified to do that kind of procedure, but often family caregivers are pressed into service to do a whole myriad of what we consider to be really health procedures that are far beyond our training. And the Caregiving Network can offer resources that can help you identify if you need more assistance, where those places are in your specific state or county, that can help you build up the tools so that you can feel like you're not only giving love, but giving love that has um, a, a healthy quality to it. Edna, I want to ask you, since you're uh, 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 probably steeped in this through AARP, and then I'll ask Dr. Taylor, as 10,000 people pour into this system called baby boomers, 10,000 mm -hmm. people a day are retiring. Mm -hmm. They are patients themselves sometimes. How do we balance this? Well, we like to talk about preparation, and we often say if you're not a caregiver today, you will be tomorrow, or you will be someone who will be cared for. So, for example, baby boomers, have you had a conversation with your children about what your needs and what your wishes are? Should you require care? Do you want to stay in your own home? Do you want to, do you have the, the resources to be cared for by others? Uh, who will take care of your financial considerations? Preparation is the key. And if you're a caregiver today or you see someone you're in your family that you think may need care in the coming years, think now, who will be my team? At AARP, at AARP, we often talk about, and our resource center references how to put together a care team. It may be siblings, it may be friends, it may be neighbors, it may be church members, but preparation is a key word for any caregiving situation. Dr. Taylor, I'll wrap up with you. What can you do now to prepare? Will Real Talk About Care help us? Well, well, absolutely. Number one is real talk about care is about support, and that's an important aspect of caregiving. But in addition to preparation, it's also prevention. So if you have an existing um, illness, make sure that you stay on top of it. If you're healthy now, there's no reason you can't be healthy as you age as long as you have a proper diet and exercise, pay attention to your spiritual and mental health, and get the required checkups. So it's preparation and also prevention. And then, again, to keep talking about it, go to AARP dot org slash caregiving and find support for your strength and continue the conversation so that we are not doing caregiving in isolation because you're not alone using the hashtag real talk about care way in Lady, i thank you so much edna k williams with aarp senior vp and dr janet taylor one of my favorite people you don't know it but you are <laughs> well Thanks nice to talk to you again thank you thank you